Welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. What we do here is build the strength and courage in you to accomplish your big dreams and goals in your sport. No longer will you feel limited. You won't feel you're not good enough. You won't question whether you will make it. Those doubts will disappear because you will have the competitive edge over your opponents and leave them in your wake. And the bonus is others will notice. Listen up and take notes because I will show you exactly how to do it. Hey there, Tiff here. Welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast, another episode of Gain the Mental Edge. That mental edge of yours, that must be uh, coming along in leaps and bounds as we go along because what is being unfolded for you as we go is how to get that head of yours in gear. We need to make sure that it's in gear and you are very clear on the direction in which you are heading, but also you have such deep belief in everything that you do that nothing's going to hold you back. So we want to make sure that that's in place. So today what we're going to be working on is your confidence statement. Now what that is is a statement in which you're going to put together and you are then going to, like you have been in a few of these episodes lately, is that you're actually going to record what you put together so that you're starting to put it into your subconscious. It's it, We don't want it just to sit in the conscious mind. We want it to sit it deep into the subconscious so that, we're, as I call it, you know, we have that deep-seated belief, like deep down into our DNA, deep down into our soul, that we know that these things are going to happen like we can feel it we can touch it we can smell it okay so the plan here for this confidence statement that we're going to put together today is just for that reason is to make sure that you can feel that deep in your soul that you are confident that you're going to accomplish whatever it is that you're going after So as you're very well aware, it's come from the Get Focused Academy, which no longer exists. This is the audio recording from the video. If you do want to see the video and get the download for the worksheet, absolutely free. Just go to tiffany-mica.com. Go to this specific episode so that you can actually watch the video as well, understand what you need to do, download the worksheet and get to it. The other thing I'd really love you to do, if you could do me a favor, leave a comment below down on the website there where you actually uh, view this video because I'd really love to know what you are are discovering about what's uh, happening to you, uh, what you're much more aware of so that uh, I know that this information is really helping you go in the direction where you want to go to. So don't go anywhere. Keep listening. Dream big. Believe in you. Go after your dreams. Hey there, Tiff here. Well, here we are in part four of mindset development. So I think what you're starting to see as you're going through each mind development training video is you're starting to see how important it is to get the right information going in there, isn't it? So what we've been working on throughout this um, second phase or phase two of belief and philosophy is really putting the good information into your brain so that you're starting to believe in yourself, you're starting to put the right comments in your mind, the right thoughts in your mind, and by you doing that, it's bringing out the right actions. So you're actually moving forward, um, the actions that you, or action steps that you're taking, you're actually uh, taking the right steps in in pursuing your, your goals versus those negative thoughts that come in equals those negative actions that come out. So um, this is really good. I'm really excited about this. Uh, What we're going to be working on today is your confidence statement. So uh, it's a really, really simple one, actually. There's not a lot of mental work that you'll have to do with this one, like the other ones. But uh, I want you to go through this training video that will be following me very shortly and uh, just to understand what confidence really means and also what confidence can do 
uh, well, the pillars of confidence, what they can do to help you accomplish your, your sports goals, your sports dreams, you as a person, your life goals, your life dreams. And um, yeah, I want you to really get stuck into this one. So follow this training video that's uh, following me and I want you to dream big, believe in you, go after your dreams. Hey there, Tiff here. Well, here we are at part four, mindset development. And as you saw in that uh, little intro video, what we're going to be working on today is we're going to be working on confidence, really important uh, development area in mindset, because if you're not confident, you're not, uh, there's no belief there, you doubt what what's going to happen. And uh, this is where you know, a lot of mistakes start happening. You doubt whether you're good enough to be able to accomplish what you want to accomplish and uh, lots of negativity creeps in. There's, there's a lot of uh, varying factors that actually come in as a part of lack of confidence. So this is why we need to make sure that we're really working on this confidence aspect uh, in this in this training. So what is mindset development? Mindset development as what we've been working throughout uh, this training is uh, working on developing your mindset into becoming the athlete who you want to become. So we're going to be working on confidence. So important. So here is two definitions of confidence. The state of feeling about the truth of something or a feeling of self-assurance arising from an appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. And that's what we're going to be really focusing on here is a feeling of assurance arising from an appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. So let's have a look at this. When are you most confident? Well, you're most confident when you have faith in your abilities. You are most confident when your mind is clear. You are most confident when you focus on the positive thoughts. You are most confident when you are mentally prepared. You are most confident when you are physically prepared. You are most confident when you have a well thought out game plan. You are most confident when you trust the process. You are most confident when you know the process will deliver the results. So let's break this down. We're going to go into it a little bit deeper now so that you can get a a much better understanding of it. So when you are confident and you have faith in your abilities, you are solid in your technique You are solid in your physical skills and you are solid in your mental skills. So remember that. When you have confidence, your mind is clear. So what does that mean? Well, you perform at your best. You have no negative thoughts. You are calm within. You breathe slowly and controlled and you're focused. You actually are staying in the moment. So when you are confident, you focus on positive thoughts. Well, what does this mean? Well, this means you feed your mind with positivity. You have those values of certainty, the standards of excellence, the athlete mindset profile. You focus on the moment and that's what some of the areas that we've already covered in the mindset development. So make sure that you have those so that you're constantly feeding your mind because we've been working on those. You should be listening to those each day. When are you most confident? Well, you're most confident when you are prepared mentally. So what does that mean? Well, that means that you're fueling your mind with the right thoughts. That means that you have those values of certainty in place that you are listening to each day. That means that you have the standards of excellence that you are listening to each day. That means that you have set up your athlete mindset profile that you listen to each day. That means that you are visualizing each day. That means that you are meditating each day. That means that you have a game plan ready to execute. Now, if you're not working on visualization or meditation or or you don't have a game plan in place, do not worry because we're going to develop that throughout the Get Focused Academy as well. So all of this is designed to help you 
become the athlete that you want to become, but we need to really be working on getting this mindset development in place so that we're fueling your mind with the good stuff. So when are you most confident? Well, you are most confident when you are physically prepared. So what does that mean? Well, that means that you have refined your technical skills. That means that you've improved your speed. That means you've improved your strength. That means you've improved your endurance. That means you've improved your nutritional requirements. That means you've improved your flexibility. That means that you are agile. And when are you most confident? Well, when you have a thought out game plan. So what does that mean to you? Well, that means that you know your strengths and your weaknesses. You know your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. You know that they're common patterns of play. So you know what they are. And you have devised a plan to counteract those common patterns of play. You have crafted your pattern of play to dominate. You have anticipated possible problem areas. You know and you have a system to control your emotions. You know and you have a system to cope with pressure. And when are you most confident? Well, you trust the process. So what does that mean to you? Well, that means you've done the work, doesn't it? It means that you've done the mental work. It means that you've done the physical work. It means that you've done the technical work. It means you've done the nutritional work. It means that you've put a game plan in place. It means that you have anticipation plan. That means you have a pressure plan in place. You've done the work. That's what confidence means. All of those contribute to the process. So by knowing that you have done the work mentally, physically, technically, nutritionally, game plan, anticipation plan, pressure plan, These are the processes and you know that those processes will deliver the results. And by the way, if you don't know how to do this, all of this is uncovered as you work through the Get Focused Academy. All of these areas will be really covering to ensure that you have everything in place to become the athlete who you want to become. But when you have all of these pillars in place, You have faith in your abilities. Your mind is clear. You focus on positive thoughts. You are prepared mentally. You are prepared physically. You have a well thought out game plan. You trust the process. You have the confidence to go after it. This is what confidence is all about. And you can crush it when you compete. And when I say crush it when you compete, it's regardless of the result. Because what you have done here is you have given your best that you can give of you on that day of when you've competed. If you didn't get the result that you wanted you do get feedback on how to continually improve. But this gives you confidence rather than stabbing in the dark trying to figure stuff out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to build your confidence and trust in your abilities. And what we're going to do here is we're going to craft your confidence statement. Now this confidence statement was something that I got from Napoleon Hill. I'm a big fan of his. He wrote The Think and Grow Rich, but also The Law of Success. And I got this confidence statement from that. I've been listening uh, to that confidence statement, which I'll show you what you need to be doing with that very shortly. But I've been listening to that for the last number of years and it everything unfolds. You, you start to see things unfold. The more you listen to it, the more that you become aware of it. So I want you to remember this before we begin your confidence statement that we are always fueling your mind with the right words, the right language that will give you confidence to strive after your big dreams, not only in your sport, but also in your life. So how are we going to create that confidence statement? It's part of your philosophy, isn't it? This is what the mindset development is, is what we're doing is we're crafting your philosophy and this is how we're going to do this. So number one, we're going to craft your confidence statement, which I'm going to show you what it is very shortly. 
And then number two, yep, we're going to record it. And then you're going to listen to your confidence statement each day, just like you've been listening to everything else that we've been working on through the mindset development area. Okay, so here we are, part four, mindset development. We're going to craft your confidence statement. You'll find that this is probably the easiest thing that you have had to do out of everything that we've done. This will actually, believe it or not, require less thought than anything else uh, because it's pretty much set up for you. There's only a, a few minor changes that you have to do with that. But I'm going to show you the example first. I'll show you my example which I've put on the next page, which you'll get from this. And then what I want you to do is then I want you to, I want you to craft your confidence statement. So this is what it is. This is what the confidence statement is. I know I have the ability to achieve my dream of reaching potential with TIFF across the, the globe with Get Focused Academy set up in every country. Now that reach a potential with TIFF and across the globe with Get Focused Academy set up in every country, that's my dream. Okay, so we'll change that for your dream. Therefore, I demand of myself persistent, aggressive, and continuous action towards its attainment. I realize the dominating thoughts of my mind are reproducing themselves in outward bodily action, and I will transform into physical reality. Therefore, I concentrate my mind for 10 minutes each day, visualizing the person I intend to be by creating that mental picture into reality through practice. I have clearly mapped out and written down who I intend to become and my intention of what I want to achieve over the next 10 years. Next 10 years is my time frame. I will succeed by attracting to me the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. I'll eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness and cynicism by, develop, by developing love for all humanity. I'll cause others to believe in me because I'll believe in them and in myself. I will read this aloud every day with full belief that it will influence my entire life so that I will become successful. So each section here in the uh, confidence statement is reminding you of what, what you need to be doing in each part. Okay, so the first part is you have your dream. Second part is reminding yourself that you've got to do the work, right? Persistent, aggressive, continuous action. The third one is what the thoughts are in your mind that are, that are coming up. So you've got to have, make sure we've got those thoughts in place, which is what we've worked on previously. Then what we also have in place is then we visualize. So we're going to be visualizing each day. We then have a map that's set out and written down of who you intend to be over the next 10 years. And by you doing that, you're going to be attracting the forces because you're going to be putting out into the universe who you intend to become and who you're going to attract. You want to eliminate these areas out of your life so that you're not looking at life through um, a bad energy. You're looking at life through a good energy. You're going to build, believe in yourself because it's, uh, you'll attract those people that will believe in you as well. And then you want to make sure that you have that repetition of reading it out aloud each, each day. Okay, so that's really the basis of that. So then we move into you crafting yours. So when you craft yours, you, ha you have, I know I have the ability to achieve my dream of. And I want you to explain the detail here. What is the uh, dream that you want to accomplish here? Everything else, therefore, I demand of myself persistent, aggressive and continuous action towards it. its attainment. Keep it there. I realize the dominating thoughts of my mind are producing themselves in outward bodily action and will transform into physical reality. Leave that there as well. Therefore, I will concentrate my mind for how many minutes that you're going to be focusing on that about the person that you intend to become by creating that mental picture so that you only have to change that part. Then I've clearly mapped out and written down who I intend to become and my intention of what I want to achieve over the next how many years you're focusing on doing that, what your goal is. And then what I want you to do here, for, so for the rest of it, I'll succeed by attracting to me the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. I'll eliminate a hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness and cynicism by developing love for all humanity. I will cause others to believe in me because I believe in them and in myself. I'll read this aloud every day with full belief that it will influence my entire life so that I'll become successful. I want you to leave all of that there. And when you do that, you don't have to read that out every day, just like what we've been focusing on. So when we move down here to step two, 
I want you to record your confidence statement, listen to it, add music to it, do what we've been doing with everything else that we've been doing through this mindset development because it's really important that you're doing that. So you don't have to read this aloud every day, but I want you to listen to it every day. Remember, we're getting deep into the subconscious here. So you don't have to read it out every day, but I want you to listen to it every day. If you'd prefer to read it, you can read it. It's not a problem. But like I said, I find that listening to everything is going to help get into the deep into the subconscious. It's that repetition that we're doing every single day. And remember, what we're always working on is we're dreaming big, believing in you and go after your dreams. Let's get to work and get that confidence statement in place and I look forward to hearing what you come up with. So dream big, believe in you, go after your dreams. Take care, talk soon. More than ever, we need hope. More than ever, we need to believe that everything is going to be okay. The world is a mirror of what you see. And if you don't like what you see, then it's time to change your world. The first step is to believe in you. Believe that you can be anything and believe that you can do anything. And that's why I've written the book Focus, How to Reach a Potential in Sport, Business and Life. It's to show you are worthy, that you can trust you and reach your potential. Get a free copy of Focus, How to Reach a Potential in Sport, Business and Life All you need to do is go to tiffanymica.com forward slash free book. All I ask is that you pay for the shipping and handling. I look forward to seeing you there. Dream big, believe in you, go after your dreams.